we, and I, I use the term, I've never met you personally, but I feel that uh, we're colleagues. We have oh, we seen, are, to be sure. Well, thank you. We have seen and experienced in this country in the last uh, 15 or 20 years changes that I think as, as young, young men and young boys that we were, we never dreamed we would see. We are seeing them being forced down our throats, and nothing is more notoriously obvious and outrageous and insulting to the heritage and the very essence of this country than that creep in the, excuse me, but that's, he's a creep, in the White House. Uh, you have stood tall from the beginning. Uh, as an African American, you bucked the system. You took some heat in the beginning. You, everything you've said, though, Pastor Manning has come to pass. It's true. Everything. And there's some wonderful people out there, and what we've got to do is encourage them not to withdraw, to stay in the fight. We've got this guy, thanks to Jerome Corsi's book, your work, and the work of a few others. I think we've got him on the ropes now. Uh, I think so, too. I, yeah. I'm convinced that we do. And you're not wrong in calling him a creep. Uh, you're quite polite. Uh, I've been known, <laughs> and I have cherished the opportunity to refer to him uh, in much more fluid terms. I yes. <laughs> Oh. Well, I think we all have off off air, uh, indeed. And uh, it's just it's just hard to believe what our founding fathers would say about something like this. And I, I'm thinking of founding fathers moving, uh, you know, forward through the 19th century because they're all basically carrying the same torch as as our original founding fathers. Where we are now is is so absurd and hard to believe. And there is a malaise in this country. Uh, it's not a malaise that Americans chose to saddle themselves or enshroud themselves with. It's a malaise that was literally programmed into them, as you well know, through the school, the alleged Absolutely. school system, Absolutely. the mass media, and all the rest of it. And when you're speaking to your congregation and your radio audience and people all around the world through YouTube video presentations and programs you're on, uh, what is the message that you hope to most effectively bring to people? Is there anything that, that sticks in your mind? You, you do bring such a broad array of material, but what do you have to say about people anymore? That we have, over the last 10 to 15 years, but more specifically, visibly, over the last couple of years, have actually left the, uh, the foundation and the principles, the creation principles, that have guided this planet of people since its inception. Mm -hmm. And they have not moved very much in terms of morality, integrity, and honor, and the things that make for a great nation. And for most societies, we have remained fairly close to those principles. Uh, and, the, the other, and, and, that we, and why are we now leaving them and thinking that somehow or another, we can succeed uh -huh. uh, over the wisdom of literally millenniums of generations. That, right. that's, now, that's a broad spectrum, Jeff, of what I'm trying to communicate. Well, that's a very important point, and it, it suggests an ignorant arrogance amongst the people, which, which, again, may well have been implanted there. I don't have the answers, but I do know what I see. And the idea of leaving the basic precepts and tenets of being human beings... Right. yes, absolutely. Is, is absurd. I mean, we literally are the sentient caretaker species of the planet, and we're turning our backs on that in aggregate, not in individuals necessarily, but in an aggregate sense. And that has to be reversed. We've got to get back to reminding ourselves who we are, what we are, and what our responsibilities and honor, what an honor it is to be the species that supposedly can bring yes. this planet forward. Yes. yes. And, and the other item I think that I you know, we want to communicate as well, is that in a much shorter period of time, uh, when the Founding Fathers established the Constitution, you, you got to marvel at the wisdom, though it's only been 235 oh, years. Genius. You, you got to marvel, right, the yeah. genius that, that, that descended upon them in every word, in every sentence, in every comma, every period, that they apply to that document, it's, it's wisdom, it's prophecy, uh, and, and, and for us to now uh, trash that it says there's something fundamentally wrong with us as a people. Right. More specifically, we are trashing one of the greatest nations uh, that ever was. Probably uh, the greatest, I agree. Yeah. Why so are we doing this, yeah. and why is it that people are standing by with their hands folded, 
are sitting watching television with their remote controls and allowing this to take place. I don't understand it. I really, really don't. I, I don't either. I wish I did. I can only point to the culture of media and the culture of celebrity that has been implanted in the minds of children. I guess it was uh, was Lenin or Stalin who said, don't worry about the older people, just give me the children. Two generations and I'll own the whole game. Yeah. And I, I think that's part of the philosophy here. The George Soros, all these people, the New World Order Illuminati globalists, they want to homogenize every country and take away their national history, their pride, their cultural achievements, their individuality, their uniqueness, which makes this planet so special. And I've always admired different countries. And look how they steamrolled Europe. I still can't believe, Pastor Manning, how Europe laid down and allowed itself to be eviscerated by these, uh, these thugs. They took yeah. their identity and they rolled them up into the European Union. And now they're flooding them with illegal aliens. I don't care who they are. They're flooding them to destroy their identity and their culture. The same thing's being done here, as you well know, folks. You listen, you know. 35 million illegal aliens from, from 70 different countries, most of them from Latin America and Mexico. That's not an accident. I don't understand the mindset. I mean, at first it was simply a business. One would think, well, it's good for business, illegal aliens. They work for less money. Your profit margins are higher. Uh, the government became a part of the process uh, and allowing it to take place, not prosecuting or appalling the laws. But we are at a threshold point now where the balance of power with the illegal aliens and their progenity can tip the balance of any uh -huh. election in yes, this sir. nation. Yep. And, and, and all a candidate has to do is to prostitute himself uh, to that group. And we find ourselves with laws that do not serve our purpose. But, Jeff, you know, the other thing I think is, is critical is that, and the thing that keeps me going, gets me up every day, and not without a lot of effort. I get up with glee knowing that somehow or another we're going to be able to overthrow this. So what history does tell us is that there have been periods and times when there have been tyrants, there have been people seeking to destroy the sovereignty of good nations and the morality of, of a decent people in the community, and they have been ultimately defeated and not by the majority, even this nation, when it threw off the, 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 the tentacles of, uh, of the United K of, of Great Britain. Right, right. It wasn't a majority of people that did it then. Yeah. It was just a few determined people who got the work done. I think so, it, was, it was 3 or 4 or 5 percent where the only, it was the active core. That was it. Yeah. So I'm encouraged. Yeah. Well, you have to be. And, and we do have the Internet. They haven't taken that away. By God, we have to stand up and, and prevent that if they try it. We just cannot allow it. It's our only means, our last means of real open communication. You're, you're an historian. You've studied history like few people have who are on the political, geopolitical scene today. The, the issue of the speed and rapidity by which the changes have been literally programmed into this culture still amaze me. And it's been done with technology. Some technology, as you well know, folks, and, and Pastor Manning knows, is not even talked about because it's so advanced. Uh, they're using it, though, to make people think the way they want, to encourage emotional reactions, to create dependence, and to certainly instill in people and inculcate in them an issue of being reactive to stimuli and certainly not accountable to their own behaviors. These are just some of the things we have to somehow reverse. 